Even though it is in the 80s right now, our dew points are up in the 70s, so that makes temperatures feel here in Corpus Christi like we're at 92 right now, and we do have those mostly cloudy skies giving us just a little bit of relief, but those dew points and combined with the clouds, that'll keep us pretty mild overnight tonight. Temperatures only getting a degree or two cooler than we were this past overnight, and we will again see some coastal fog, maybe even getting into some of our Rush country areas overnight into tomorrow morning. We'll also see our next cold front slide down through the uh, coastal bend and that'll help get some of the fog out of here. But by the time the sun comes out tomorrow afternoon, the fog should be out of here and dissolve and dissipate on its own. Tomorrow afternoon's high temperatures under a mix of clouds and sun a little bit cooler than we were today. 80s and maybe some 90s out in the brush country, but the heat indices is what we're really going to be looking at. And no 100 degrees here for tomorrow. 85 is what will feel like tomorrow in Corpus Christi, and that's because of the humidity behind that cold front. It's not going to be quite as bad as it has been over the last few days. That's not to say it's not going to feel humid. We'll still have dew points way over in the 65 plus range, so your hair may be getting a little bit frizzier. And to add on to that, it will be pretty windy out there tomorrow, 10 to 20 miles an hour and into the rest of the week. That uh, increases as we go further into the week, and that continues with that trend. And notice once we get behind our cold front Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, those winds flip back off from on or the winds go back to onshore. And you can see how they, the clouds and showers will stream onshore from a southeasterly direction. So that'll keep replenishing any moisture we lose over the next couple days. Tuesday and Wednesday got about a 20% chance of showers out there and on on uh, Wednesday as well to uh, Thursday, Friday. Rain chances are a little bit lower, but they're still there over the course of the week. Rain totals not going to be quite that much, maybe a couple hundredths or a tenth of an inch. Definitely not going to be breaking our drought anytime soon. The best day to wash your car this week, or rather the lowest rain chances would be tomorrow. But because we do have rain chances throughout the rest of the week, you may just want to put it off until next weekend. I know I've already been putting that off for a couple weeks. What's one more tomorrow? Definitely not going to have those rain chances, but a mix of clouds and sun, a mild morning and then a warm afternoon topping out in the mid 80s. So just a bit cooler than we were on this Easter Sunday, a little bit cooler even on Tuesday by just a degree or two. But our overnight temperatures, those are going to stay pretty steady and actually be almost kind of muggy and sticky when we're out the door in the mornings. But our high temperatures they will fluctuate around in the low and mid 80s. Brian.